The first race of the 68th edition FIM Monster Energy Motocross of Nations in Latvia at Kegum's burst into life with MXGP and MX2. Alexander Tonkov grabbing the Fox hole shot. Behind him, Max Nagel got into second, but Gauthier Paulin of France charged down the inside of the German to take second before the end of the first lap, and then three laps later, found his way past the Russian to lead for Team France. Battling over fifth and sixth position, Jeremy Van Horbeek, number one of Belgium, the defending champions, and Antonio Cairoli of Italy. Cairoli went through into fifth, but a lap later, Team Italy's hopes of the podium would come to an end as Cairoli fell through the wave section in spectacular fashion. He picked himself up with a damaged knee, but would not rejoin the race. Ryan Dungey charged into second with this move on Tonkov, with about five laps to go, as Dylan Ferrandis found his way past Jeremy Martin to work his way to an eventual ninth. But it was Gauthier Paulin who was victorious in race one. Dungey was second for the USA, Nagel third, Van Horbeek fourth, and Tonkov fifth. And Team France led after the first race. USA second, Belgium and Great Britain were third and fourth. In race two, it was the MX2 and Open Riders. This time it was Stephen Frossard of France who grabbed the foxhole shot. Tommy Self of Great Britain was well placed in second as he rounded out the first turn on his MX2 machine. Eli Tomac didn't make a great start, number six for the USA, but wasted no time in carving his way through the field, passing Glenn Colden off to move his way up into eighth. And then this pass on Julian Lieber to get himself into seventh. He would only wake his way back to six by the time the chequered flag fell. His teammate, Jeremy Martin, made a pass around the outside of the Australian, Matt Moss, and Martin would come home in eventual 13th place for Team USA. But Kevin Strybos was silky smooth at the head of the field for Team Belgium, doing enough just to stay ahead of the Frenchman. Stephen Frossard as Dean Wilson and Tommy Self for Great Britain rounded out third and fourth positions for the entire moto. But the flag fell, it was a win for Kevin Strybos in Belgium, Frossard of France was second, Wilson and Sell were third and fourth with Frederick Noren of Sweden in fifth, Eli Tomac of the USA was sixth. And after the second race, France had pulled even further clear at the head of the field. Britain were in second, Belgium were in third with the USA in fourth. It was a spectacular start to the final moto as Chad Reed went over the handlebars down the start straight, no fault of his own. As Dennis Ulrich grabbed the whole shot for Team Germany. By the end of the lap, though, Jeremy Van Horbeek was leading with Gauthier Paulin just behind him in second. Tonkov was back there in third. Van Horbeek was looking good for the first four laps, but it wasn't long before. Paulin went through, but Kevin Strybos, he fell from 15th right the way down to 29th. So suddenly, Belgium were on the ropes in this third and final race. This was the pass Paulin put on Van Horbeek. And once again, Team France were on a charge in the hands of Gauthier Paulin. Philip Bengtsson crashed out spectacularly of eighth position for Team Sweden. And Eli Tomac, who fell at turn one, worked his magic, carving his way through the field. He put a pass on Tonkov to get himself up into third, but then he would stall as Sean Simpson of Great Britain went out with a derail chain. And that ended any hopes of Great Britain making a podium here. They were ahead of the US at that time in the race. Despite the efforts of Dean Wilson, his teammate, number 18 on that green Kawasaki, making his way up into fifth with that pass on Tonkov, it looked like it was going to be the Americans on the podium on the third step. Gauthier Paulin was a double race winner. He won the individual category. Jeremy Van Horbeek followed him home, but that win was enough to seal victory for Team France. Their first victory in this competition since 2001, and only their second ever in the competition that's been running since 1947. So the nation's final race looked like this. Paulin, Van Horbeek, Tomac, Frossard, and Wilson your top five and the overall classification France a winner by 10 points over Belgium with the USA third tying on points with Great Britain who as I say lost out when Sean Simpson suffered a chain break so USA third Belgium second but Gauthier Paul and Stephen Frossard Dylan Ferrandis mounted the top step of the podium here in Latvia their first win as a trio, the first win 
for Olivier Robert in his last appearance as team manager for Team France. Monster Energy Motocross of Nations champions. How was it watching that final race on pit lane? It's crazy. Uh, uh, I'm so happy we we did it, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful. And uh, uh, the guy makes so so good race today. And uh, I, I was always uh, the second in, uh, on the gate, so I was uh, I, I take two two bad start and. Uh, I make a big fight for for comeback on the on the front, and uh, I make two not so bad motor, but uh, but my two teammates make the job, and uh, for the, the two guys won the won uh, his his, uh, his category, so it's crazy. I'm so happy, and thank you, thank you all the the, the French fans and all the the French federation, and uh, vive la France. <laughs>